Alrighty. Uh, I am Gunnar Mills. I'm a senior software engineer at IBM, and I maintain several OpenBMC repositories, including BMC Web, which is OpenBMC's Redfish implementation. And I'm going to talk today about OpenBMC's Redfish support. OpenBMC, what is it, and a little history. OpenBMC is a open source project. It was founded in 2014, 2015. In 2018, it became a Linux Foundation project. Five founding companies were Facebook, now Meta, Google, IBM, Intel, and Microsoft. And OpenBMC is a Linux distribution for baseboard management controllers, or BMCs. OpenBMC is Apache 2.0 license, and its code is in GitHub. OpenBMC is meant to work in a variety of environments, including cloud scale data centers, enterprise servers, high performance computing, and telecommunications. OpenBMC is led by a technical steering committee, which is made up of the five founding comp companies plus ARM. In the last few years, the TSC has pushed down their technical oversight to an elected board called the Technical Oversight Forum, or TOF. This seven-member board is elected by members of the community, and the community decides the criteria for running and voting for the TOF. OpenBMC Today. OpenBMC has grown rapidly since its initial founding and becoming a Linux Foundation project in 2018. Today, there's 900 plus forks of OpenBMC, OpenBMC. There's 700 users on Discord, which we use for chat. We require a contributing license agreement and 72 companies have signed a corporate CLA. We have dozens of individual CLA signers as well. And in September, there was 515 commits merged, and that's a pretty typical month. OpenBMC's Redfish implementation. BMC Web is OpenBMC's web server. It's a embedded web server, and it's our Redfish implementation. BMC Web uses asynchronous processing to allow for multiple requests at the same time. BMC Web is configurable. It uses the Mison build system. And BMC Web was originally built on Crow, a C++ framework for web services, but has since moved to Boost Beast. BMC Web, like the rest of OpenBMC, uses C23, the latest C version, and you'll find a few C23 features in BMC Web. BMC Web can be found <coughs> at that URI below, and that's what the QR code goes to. Some BMC Web features. BMC Web supports Redfish aggregation, although there's still some remaining work there. You can turn this on via a Mison build option. BMC Web supports basic auth and token-based auth based on the Redfish standard. BMC Web also supports cookie 
auth to support the OpenBMC GUI, web UI view. Mutual TLS is, is another auth it supports. Host Serial Console is available via WebSocket and is available on the OpenBMC GUI, as is KVM and virtual media. Static file hosting for Web UI View is available, and all of these can be turned off or enabled. And BMC Web translates Dbus, our inner process communication, to Redfish and back. BMC Web today supports 117 Redfish schemas, 117 schemas and hundreds of properties, and it's a, a growing list. And the full list can be found out in BMC Web. BMC Web uh, tends to consume Redfish schemas when they become available, and this is us picking up 2024.3 uh, um, just a few days after it was available. 2024.3 uh, had things like some additional multi-factor auth properties uh, that we're using. Web UI View is OpenBMC's web-based user interface. It uses Redfish. It uses Vue 3. Vue is a JavaScript library. Angular and React would be two other very popular JavaScript libraries. And there's work underway to get Web UI View to work with other Redfish implementations. Today it only works with BMC Web. And Web UI View has standard functionality you would expect from a BMC GUI uh, functionality that can be found in the Redfish API, code update, inventory, sensors, user management, power on and off are such examples. OpenBMC works closely with the DMTF. MCTP, a transport protocol, PLDM, a messaging protocol, are two other DMTF standards being used in OpenBMC. Both are part of the PMCI workgroup. OpenBMC works closely with the Redfish group. OpenBMC pushes upstream schemas and properties. Some examples of that are cables and dumps and so forth. We work with the DMTF and Redfish on optimizations. Query parameters is one example that comes to mind. And we don't want to make a bunch of assumptions in OpenBMC, assumptions that could lead to compatibility issues. And so we ask a lot of questions and clarifications, and uh, the sensor excerpt and event terminate after retries are, are two examples from just the last month. And before adding an OEM schema to OpenBMC, we require the author to discuss with Redfish first. And we do this for several reasons. One is compatibility. Other reasons, the DMTF has the Redfish experts, and we've seen higher quality and standard resources than in our OEM. And maintenance, we don't want to carry a bunch of OEM schemas. And this isn't much different than what we do with Linux. OpenBMC's Linux maintainers require that authors push their Linux patches up if they're going to be carried in the OpenBMC tree. We use tooling from the DMTF in our CI and test. 
This is the Redfish service validator being ran as part of OpenBMC CI. BMC Web passes the Redfish service validator. How does this all tie back to OCP? All the way back in 2016, Facebook, now Meta, contributed OpenVMC code to OCP. There has been OpenVMC talks at OCP since. And OpenVMC is used on or ported to a number of OCP platforms. Uh, I list a couple there. OpenBMC supports and passes the OCP base server profile. Not all platforms do pass, but there has been an effort to, to pass the OCP profiles. All right, getting started with OpenBMC and BMC Web. We have a mailing list which you can sign up for following that link. There's a Discord server, again, is the, the link to the invite. And I'd recommend signing up for both of those if, if you're interested in the project. Uh, I can be found out on Discord under Gunner M. We use Garrett for code reviews. Uh, go check it out. Go jump on some random reviews. And the docs repo can help with getting started. This is our Discord and mailing list archive. You can see some discussion about a code update timeout and how it was decided. Uh, there's a dedicated Discord channel for Redfish slash BMC Web. And on the right's the, the mailing list archive. You can see a lot of patches going out. All right, step-by-step, uh, -step how to submit a patch to OpenBMC. Uh, learn Git, have a GitHub account. If you've contributed to Redfish, you, are, you already have a GitHub account. <coughs> Clone from Garrett, since that's where you'll be pushing to. Uh, GitHub is just, just a mirror. Make changes, test, commit. And there's a, a whole document describing this as well as any other contributing rules we have, and that can be found in the docs repo. Add your peers to the review, and feel free to review others. And don't be afraid. Uh, the community will help. Uh, ask out on Discord. We're uh, a pretty friendly community. All right, I have some time for some questions. I heard about Linux Foundation also, a BMC based BMC solution based on Linux Foundation. Uh, open BMC. It's a, I don't know if it's an Open BMC, but it's a Linux Foundation based solution. Yeah, it's it, it's a Linux Foundation project. Project. Yep. So how does that interact with Open BMC? Or can you make some comments on that? Y yeah. So. Uh, in, in 2018, um, the five founding companies of, of OpenVMC uh, wanted a, a neutral body to uh, oversee the project, and the Linux Foundation was, was chosen. And so uh, today, the, the Linux Foundation uh, hosts our website, uh, helps with any legal advice, um, and supports uh, OpenBMC. I see. So it's not a completely different solution for, for developing a management solution. 
Uh, yeah. So so. OpenBMC is is definitely guided by the the developers, uh, and and the companies contributing to it. Um, it's it's guided by a the technical oversight forum, which is an elected body. Um, and it tends to follow uh, follow whatever the the company is contributing uh, needs are. So so if you need something in OpenBMC, the only guarantee to to get it is is if you implement it yourself. Okay, thank you. Hi, um, this is Venkat from Meta. So I have a quick question on how the usage model of OpenBMC. Um, across the board, how are people kind of using the vanilla OpenBMC from the GitHub versus customizing? So what are the kind of some of the uh, adoption uh, cycle and kind of the latency that you see? Yeah, so uh, most companies will have a fork of OpenBMC where they uh, maintain uh, a, a few patches and then they will periodically rebase that fork um, I know in Meta's case, I believe it's it's like every other week they they rebase with upstream. Uh, we at IBM unfortunately carry a few more patches, so our rebases with upstream are are in the in the months. Um, and and there's always a you're you're always working to to lessen your patches so you can rebase more often, and so you're always trying to get your patches merged merged upstream. But obviously for uh, deadlines and so forth, it's not always possible to get your to get your code in. Uh, the the upstream doesn't have any any deadlines. So to ship a project, you'll you know carry those patches downstream. Hey. Can you use OpenBMC to track sort of ser server utilization metrics and then also maybe the age of the hardware? So when you're trying to do lifecycle management, um, is that a feature that OpenBMC? So uh, OpenBMC does have uh, some data like uh, build dates and so forth. And so if you have those populated, you could use that to track the age of the hardware. Um, as for utilization, uh, there's, we, we, we don't have a lot implemented there, but um, it's definitely something we would, we would take patches for. Okay, thank you.